All right, guys, so you got a new computer and you want to take your EM client from your old computer or laptop to your new computer or laptop, okay? There's two ways that you can go about this. The first way is through the backup and restore using the EM client, which we'll show you here. And then the second way is locating your actual folder for your EM client. You're going to copy that to your external drive. And then when you install the new EM client on your new computer, you'll basically just replace the contents of that folder with the new one, which will show you both ways. Okay. So the first way that we want to do is you're going to go to menu tools settings. When you go to backup, you want to go ahead and select your backup directory. Where do you want this backup file to go to? Okay. So I already have one here, but you would just click this button. You would go to find your computer. We're going to send it to our external drive and we have a folder called email backup. Okay. So once you're done with that, you're going to click okay. Now how to start the backup. You're going to go to menu. You're going to go to file and then you're going to go to backup. All right. You're going to get a little pop up. Do you really want to back up your data? This operation could take several minutes depending on your database size, which ours is pretty big. So we're going to go ahead and click yes. And we're going to let that run and then we'll come back once this is done. Okay, guys. All right, guys. Now I got Alex back with me here. So when it finishes, you'll see this little, the, I guess, progress bar here will be done. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and check your folder, which if we go here, email backup. And now we can see that we have our backup zip. Okay. So that's the first way that we can do it. Now, let me show you the second way. Let me get rid of Alex. Hold on. All right. Sorry. I had to get rid of Alex. So the second way that you want to do it is you want to locate your email folder where your database is stored. So if you go to the start button, you're going to go to your C drive. And then from your C drive, you want to go to users and then you want to go to your user. And then from there, you should go to app data. And then from there, you want to go to roaming. And then you want to go to EM client. And then in here, you're going to have your, your actual database folder. Okay. So from here is the one that you want to copy. All right. So as you can see, there's a bunch here that have been made, but you want to grab the current one. So again, so these are all the folders. These are all your database. Okay. So you're going to copy all this. The easiest way to do it is to make a copy of this folder. Now, before you do this, the main thing that you want to do is you want to close out of email client. So let me get rid of this. Let's go ahead and close out of email client. All right. Now that that's closed, let me go ahead and pull this back up here, which is right here. And then now that you want to do is you're going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to do control C control V. This is going to make a copy of it. All right. It's going to take a little bit. So let me give that a second to copy. All right, guys. So once you have your copy done, I'm just going to go ahead and rename my copy. I'm going to call it move. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to bring up my external and then I am going to move it over to my email backup. So I'm just going to move this over here. Take a little bit. So let me let this move over and then I'll be right back with you. And then I'll show you how to get the license because you want to get your license key to make sure that you have that when you install the new EM client on your new computer. Okay. All right. Now that we got that moved over, let's. All right. So to get your license key, guys, what you want to do is you want to go over to EM client slash slot lost dash activation dash key. Okay. You're going to put in your email address. And then go ahead and click send. And it says it doesn't. Let's try this other one here. All right, so now that it's sent over our license key, let's see if that's come over yet. All 
All right, funny so her story, our email server is actually down for maintenance, so we're not going to get that um, key emailed to us. But once we get it put on the new computer, that server should be back up and going, and that key will be able to will be able to download or get that key email to us. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and then I will get the new computer set up, and then we'll go through getting the backup and restore done, as well as how you can just easily copy over that folder that we made a copy of into the new um, email server what email client once it gets installed it's real simple real quick or like i said you can do the backup and restore whatever way that you choose to do so stay tuned i'm going to stop this one and then i'll be back when i get the new computer up and going all right so now we have the new computer up and running now what we want to do is we want to install em client okay so you want to go ahead and download em client which I've already done here. So let me go ahead and start the install. So we'll go ahead and agree. We'll go ahead and install. And again, real important guys, if you have an older version of EM client, like version seven, which I had, and you don't want to have to up, upgrade your EM client, what you want to do is you're going to want to download the, hold on. Sorry guys, had to get it rid of Alex here real quick he was becoming a little rambunctious for me but what I was saying is if you have version 7 you want to download that version and then you can install it and you won't have to upgrade okay you just do a, a straight backup restore move the folder folder over whatever but you're not upgrading to a new version okay in our case I failed to do that so I ended up having to upgrade to version 10 which is okay whatever we'll go with it so when you're gonna go ahead and install EM client you can just cancel all this because we don't need any of this okay we just want to cancel and then we want to get EM client up because the main thing is we want that database okay so like I said you have two options you can either a use the backup that you created and just do a restore on the new one or B you can simply move the folder over to the new folder so let me show you I'm gonna do the restore process but let me just show you the folder move okay so let me get this out of the way so here we have our backup all right so this is the backup that we that we made of the we made a copy of the folder so to get to the folder we want to go to your C drive and then you want to go to users you're gonna to go to your user you're gonna to go to app data you're gonna to go to roaming then EM client okay this is where your database is okay so very important to do this you would want to close out of em client all right because the main thing that you wanted is you wanted it to create this folder which it did so if you were to move over the new one so this is the one that we copied from the previous version so basically you would just rename this to em client old move this one over and then just rename it to em client and then when you open em client you'll be all set ready to go because it'll be reading from that database okay or what you can do is you can do the restore method okay so if you open EM client all right and let's open EM client here All right, so now we have EM client open, okay? So you can simply go here, and then you want to go to file, and then you're gonna do restore, okay? And it's gonna ask, do you really wanna do this? Of course you do. And then, so let's let this load here. All right, guys, and now that finished. And now you can see we have everything here available to us right so we have all of our setups we have all of our email email accounts everything is in here good to go so I can simply send out a test message let's just send it to the other account so we can test both of them we're just gonna do test and send all right so there we sent it off we should get it here in just a sec. And there she is. All right. So real simple, guys. 
There's two ways you can do this to make this move. It's very easy. You can do the backup restore, or you can simply just move the folders over, whatever way you'd like to do. But again, if you do go from an older version to a newer version, you're going to have to upgrade. Okay. So if you want to avoid that, just make sure that before you make your move, or even when you do make your move, you find the version of EM client that you want to reinstall. So if you're on version 7, find the install for version 7 so you don't have to do any upgrades. Okay. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments box below. But guys, this is real simple. And I appreciate you watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.